All right, starting off the day by stepping on the scale to get an end weight for last week and a beginning weight for this week. All right, so it is early Saturday morning, and I'm going to be breaking my fast and my fasting protocol, meaning I will not be fasting today or tomorrow, but I will start back up on Monday. So one way I like to break my fast pretty much every single day before I consume actual solid food um, and just kind of really jump-starting my system is I will drink a nice tall glass of keto lemonade. Basically what this is, is a half a lemon squeezed, all the juice out of course, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one fourth spoon of pink Himalaya salt, no salt, which is basically straight potassium, and then I will also do one fourth spoon of ground cinnamon. Now let me tell you guys, it does look like, you know, dirty water, but it's absolutely delicious absolutely delicious and I prefer this to be cold over ice versus warm however I do drink it warm like if I need it at night or something I will drink it warm and it does help to warm up the system and still kind of you know jump start your system as well so I pretty much drink this every single day before I go to consume actual solid food and that way it just kind of jump starts my um my system so to speak wakes my system up pretty much so it is 7 a.m this will be the first thing i consume after this about maybe 30 45 minutes i will go ahead and fix myself a nice coffee and then some um breakfast as well and that will get my day started now today is saturday so we do have basketball madison made lunches yesterday and made me a little berry snack bag i have some strawberries blueberries and raspberries and then i just chopped up some um cucumbers put a little black pepper in there as well as some vinegar and I use the white pastel vinegar for this now usually I would put some salt in here since I am adding the pink Himalaya salt here I decided to opt out of adding salt to my um, vinegar and cucumber mix but with black pepper instead it's absolutely yummy so I will have this in the need um, if I feel that I need a little snack while we're at the gym for basketball and this should definitely hold me over until we get back home um, for lunch Okay, I'm going to make a breakfast one pot skillet meal that I seen on the Keto Chef and I have been dreaming about it ever since I saw it pretty much. I will leave the, um, the video link down below for you so you can have the exact recipe but basically it's a one skillet or one pot meal. It calls for cauliflower rice or pearls which I'm using a steam bag that I have. Also calls for bacon as well as onion and egg as well. So I'm gonna actually be using two eggs and it acts for butter or ghee. He used ghee in his recipe, but I don't have ghee, so I'm going to be using butter. And again, I will leave the um, video link in the description box for you if you want to check out that recipe because it looked it absolutely delicious. Since I saw it, I've just been thinking about it. Like, I need to make that. Like, I need to get on it. All right, so the recipe states that you're just going to pretty much brown up your cauliflower. You're not really trying to cook it all the way through. Just to brown it up and give it a little bit of flavor from the butter. And then we'll add in all the other ingredients. Definitely try this out. It is definitely delicious. Only thing I would add is some cheese. So, some cheese. Now, I didn't add any salt. I just added a little bit of pepper. I didn't add salt just because I had salt in my morning drink. So, you know, not trying to overdo it on the salt, so to speak. So, didn't add salt, but just the pepper alone is pretty good. It has nice flavor. That bacon and butter gives it some really good flavor. And then I like onions, so onions are good too, but it's delicious. Only thing I would add, again, is some sharp cheddar cheese. Now, y'all, y'all gonna have to excuse the hair. It is what it is. This is 
this is Saturday at its finest and I'm gonna be rocking like this all day because it is so cold outside and super windy so it's gonna be a hat kind of day for me today but I'm gonna finish this off with my coffee because it is so good mm -hmm. getting ready to head out the door to have dinner for Jalen's birthday. Y'all, my baby made 18. My baby is 18. He is no longer a baby. Grown man, I guess, technically, that's what they say, but you know, he ain't no man in my book. He's still my baby. Anyways, we are going to head out for dinner for his birthday, and I am trying to figure out what I'm doing to my hair. I was going to curl it, but I just spent the last 30 minutes of my life fixing Madison's hair, so... I don't think that's happening. I don't, I'm not even in the mood. So I'm throwing it back in the ponytail. Big surprise there, right? Big surprise. Anyways, it is like almost six o'clock. And I just realized that I have not eaten anything else all day outside of what I had for breakfast. I had my coffee and that one pot meal. And that was pretty much it all day. Now, I did um, bring my snacks with me since we was going to be at um, basketball all day. I brought my snacks with me to have, but I didn't even eat that. Madison ate my cucumbers, and Mason ate my fruit, so there you have that. But honestly, I'm just, I have not been hungry all day. I've been sipping on water all day, um, ice water, of course, but just have not been hungry or anything. So, anyways, we're going out to eat now, so I'm pretty sure by the time we get to the restaurant, my stomach will be touching my back, and I'll be ready to consume somebody's food at that point. <laughs> Give him the one without the hose. Open. Be ready to catch it. Open up, Jace. Oh! 
Maddie. Open, Maddie. You want to show them how to do it, son? All right, here we go. Here you come, Bobby. Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. Open your eyes, yeah? <laughs> One, two, three, man. Ah! Oh, 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 make it leave it alone. Leave it alone. One, two, three. Oh! Hi guys and happy happy Monday it is bright and early Monday morning I have no clue why I'm up so early today is Martin Luther King Day the kiddos are out of school they're all sleeping including the fur baby but nonetheless here I am up bright and early now mind you of course there's things that need to be done however today could have been one of those days that I just slept in just a little bit longer but nonetheless I'm up now and time to get moving but honestly, I'm so cold, I can't do anything. It is freezing cold outside. Of course, I have the heater on in the house, but I am still just flipping cold. It's crazy. But then on top of that, I am drinking ice water. So whatever sense that makes, right? But anyways, today will mark the first day of my intentional intermittent fasting. So I mentioned to you guys in the keto update video that where I, um, where I am now and what I plan to start implementing to further my weight loss goals and my overall health goals is starting to intermittent, intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is basically a eating window of time, I guess you can say, the way that you eat. So it's not really a diet. It's more of a eating window. So I will be fasting for 16 hours and eating for an eight hour window. Now, by all means, when you say it, you think of it like, oh my goodness, you're going to starve yourself for 16 hours out of the day. No. When you think about it, your last meal the night before, that's your last meal. Let's say whatever time you eat last at 6. Well, I'm going to use myself for an example. My last meal is typically about 10 o'clock, 1030, because I do go to the gym late at night. So, I finish eating then. I go to sleep and I'm in a fasted state for the entire night. Now, mind you, whatever I ate last, my body is feeding off of that. So depending on what I actually took in will dictate how long my body has to go before it gets into that fasted state where it's not fed, where there's no food in the body, if that makes sense. Everything has been broken down and stored where it needs to be stored within the body to be used for what it needs to be used for. So once I get to that point throughout the night, I'm in a fasted state. Then when I wake up in the morning, instead of being the first thing I do in the morning, grab something to eat, I do not. I simply don't eat, skipping breakfast and not eating until midday, which honestly for me, once I really started thinking about it, is what I have naturally done for so, so long. Now I didn't do it in the appropriate way and I definitely didn't do it in a healthy way. But I have never been one to get up in the morning and want to eat, just be so hungry to where I need to eat. Typically, I would get up, fix myself a coffee, which I would load with a thousand pounds of sugar, right? Have my coffee creamer, and then that would hold me over to mid-morning, midday, and then at that point, I would sit down to eat my first actual meal, whether it was breakfast food or I ate something for lunch. Um, like much food but typically it was always breakfast food because I always felt like I needed to have breakfast food because I didn't eat breakfast so anyways but the thing is is that I wasn't doing it in the most um, accurate or healthy way I would again have that coffee go throughout the day until my stomach started touching my back and when I get hungry just grab the first thing I seen whether it was cereal whether it was a processed waffle whether it was going to McDonald's whatever just grab the first thing that was convenient and that's what I would eat so Nonetheless, I'm done with those bad habits and I am now going to be intentionally 
intermittent fasting. So again, my last meal will be about 10, 10, 30, which is most likely going to be a protein shake that I take after working out. And that would hold me over um, and be like my last dinner, if you will. And I would fast throughout the night. And then when I get up in the morning, I simply don't eat breakfast and I don't eat until midday, mid morning. Now, if I felt like I wanted eggs or bacon or sausage, well, then I can have that as my first meal and so on and so forth. So that is my plan. Intermittent fasting, 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of um, eating. Now for me, as I mentioned before, my mid areas where I hold a lot of my weight and it's stubborn, like it's just, it's stubborn, stubborn. It has gone down a lot just by eating a ketogenic lifestyle, high fats, moderate protein, and low carbs. However, I'm not exactly where I wanna be just yet. So. I, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to start doing the intermittent fasting um, to help push me along with losing a lot of that mid area fat. Now, on top of that, what I'm going to do is start lowering the amount of dietary fat that I feed my body. This way, it will give my body a chance to really get into learning and training my body to eat off the fat it already has stored. And again, I'm one that I hold my fat in my mid area, so it's stored there. So I want my body to get to the point where it unlocks those fat storages and it start using that for fuel, and which in return will reduce me, um, will cause me to reduce the amount of gut that I have, pretty much. So that sums that up. Now, on a ketogenic diet, the baseline is that you eat high fat, moderate protein, and low carbs. I'm still going to be taking in fats, just again, lowering the dietary fats that I put in, giving my body a chance to just eat off all the fat that it has stored. So that's my plan there. Along with that, I am going to continue working out. So I did join a 21-day boot camp challenge. Today is actually the last day of that challenge, and I do plan to continue the second half. So tonight when we go in, I believe we're going to do like a 30-minute section where we have to train ourselves. She's going to correct us on our form, our position, our count, and things like that, making sure that what she has been teaching us over these last few weeks, we have actually picked up, learned, and we understand why she has us working out certain muscles with other muscles, so on and so forth. So tonight we're going to do that. Also, we're going to have a little mini celebration just to celebrate the fact that we have completed the entire 21 days and I believe she said that she's going to do um we're going to do a voting where we're going to vote on who we think have the most overall um change I guess over this whole 21 days she's not basing it on weight because everybody's weight loss was different and then everybody's body type and frame is different as well some of us are heavier than others so on and so forth but just on overall I guess um appearance appearance of improvement so we have before pictures and then we will stand and show um you know our present state and so on so that's going to be cool to see um what happens there who wins and all that and i believe if you win you either get a discount to continue the second portion or you get the second portion free or there's some type of incentive i don't know i don't remember um another thing is is that the lady that's training us that's, that does the boot camp her first language is spanish along with everyone else in the class. Some ladies do understand English, some do not. My trainer understands English and she does speak English as well, but her first language is Spanish and well, sometimes it could be a little bit of a language barrier between us. Um, so funny thing is I am learning how to work out my body, learning how to you know build up muscle and all that stuff, but I'm also learning how to speak Spanish at the same time because yeah, that's just what happens. So anyways, that's a win-win, right? So with that, I'm also going to start um, supplementing with MCT oil. Now this here is by Nature's Way. I got this off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description box for you if you're interested. And it's um, 16 ounces total. So MCT oil stands for medium, train, medium chain dichrysorides, if I'm saying that right, which I'm probably not, but it's okay. Long story short, this is all things fat and it is good fat for you. It has 130 calories, total fat is 14, uh, 14 grams, saturated fat is 13 grams. Again, not a nutritionist, not a healthcare professional. I will not sit here and rabble all things. I have no scientific proof to back up. All I can do is leave you resources to any and everything that I am doing 
in the description box down below. So if you're interested in checking it out, the resources will be there for you. But long story short, this stuff is pretty much gold and it is good for just overall health and all things. So I am going to start implementing this as well into my diet. Now it says it's recommended to take one tablespoon as needed. It doesn't say how often to take it, whether you take it once a day, twice a day, three times a day. It doesn't say that. One serving size is considered a tablespoon as well. However, for what I have read in all the reports across YouTube videos, this can definitely act as a bit of a laxative. So, to get my body adjusted and see how my body responds to it, I'm going to start off with a half a tablespoon first and then work my way up because, well, we don't need any accidents, do we? We don't need that to happen. So, you can mix this in with your coffee, your shakes, your smoothies, put it in um, different foods, yogurts, salads, and that's probably what I'm going to do is salads as well as my shakes and um, smoothies. You see a lot of people putting this in their coffee, um, their tea, so you can do that as well. It doesn't have, it has really, it has no smell. I mean, there's no smell to it. So that's a plus. I mean, that way I won't be turned off from um, utilizing it. So I am interested and excited to start implementing this here in my, um, my diet as well. the day now this will probably end up being my only um, meal for today actually since I'll be heading to the gym for eight I don't want to be too stuffed going to the gym of course and I get back pretty late so I'm not going to eat any food when I get back but I will have a protein shake so this will end up being my only meal solid meal for today but again I am going to have that protein shake so I'll be good with that now what I ended up doing is mixing the MCT oil with my um, zesty Italian dressing and my guacamole and it's just like any other oil it's oil so there's no no taste no smell and it mixed up pretty fine I will let you guys know if I feel a difference at workout um, with having the MCT oil if I feel like I got a extra burst of energy or not but again I'm only doing half a tablespoon just to get accustomed to this before going to the full recommended amount of one full tablespoon so that is that one full meal for today and then one protein shake at the workout yeah y'all won't believe this you won't believe what went down when they did the entire judging part to see who won the first 21 days of the boot camp challenge like you just won't believe it but let me tell you let me tell you who ended up winning this chick, what? Y'all, I won. Like, legit, I won. Like, I never win anything. Y'all should have seen me now. I was doing my happy dance. I was shaking. I was jigging. Y'all, I never win. Like, I just don't. I just don't get I won. Like, a hot $60, I won. So, what ended up being the grand prize is that you got back half of what you paid to um, join the boot camp. And, of course, if you decide to finish it off and do the second portion of the boot camp, well, then... That 60 you can use to pay for the second part. So it's like you're getting a $60 discount. But nonetheless, your girl won. Like, legit, I won. So what we ended up doing is holding our before picture, just kind of prancing around the room, and everybody got a chance to judge on who they felt like or, you know, who they thought had the most overall change and body appearance, so on and so forth. So nonetheless, your girl won a hot 60 bucks. What? All right, it's Tuesday afternoon, about 2 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and have my first meal of the day. I'm having a ham, egg, and cheese muffin 
with a few blueberries. I'm going to have ice cold water to drink with this. Now for my first meal, I don't want to have um, anything too heavy because I will need to eat in a few hours again. Again, since I am doing the intermittent fasting, I only have an eight hour window to eat. However, because I am also going to the gym eight at night to nine, I don't have as much of an eight hour window to actually consume all of my food because I prefer not to eat um, so late at night and you know eat a heavy meal. So this will be the first meal for today. All right, it's about 4.30 now and I'm gonna go ahead and get my next meal cooking. That way I can go ahead and eat by 5.30 at the latest, 6 o'clock, since I will be heading to the gym for 8. I have four tilapia fish here. Two will be for me and then two for the hubby. He will either eat his for dinner or for um, his lunch tomorrow. And then I just put a little bit of Kerrygold butter on top. And I'm using Mrs. Dash Salt-Free Table Blend Seasoning. And that's what I season it with. It's really delicious. It gives it a really nice flavor. And it's just basically compressed up all things herbs. So pretty good there. And I'm going to fix myself a salad. I have all my fixings here. So while my fish is in the oven, I'll go ahead and start working on making my salad. And this will be my last meal for today. I'll head to the gym for 8. By the time I get back home, I'll have just a protein shake. And then that will be it for today. All right, guys. So it has definitely been a long, long week for me which made for quite a long vlog as well. So I will do my best to trim this down. I'll probably just end up leaving out the days that I show um, duplicate meals that I ate throughout the week because honestly, I just rotated between what I ate throughout the week. But nonetheless, this was my first full week of intentionally fasting for 16 hours and then eating for an eight hour window. I will tell you guys that Monday was pretty easy going. Tuesday was pretty easy going, but come Wednesday, well, Wednesday was a little tougher. And I think it was more so because I got up early and I was out the house in the cold air, running errands all morning, and it was cold. So I just, I wanted a coffee, like I was craving a coffee. But I think it was more so that I just wanted the warmth because it was so cold outside. It wasn't that I really just wanted the coffee, if you know what I mean. So anyways wednesday was a little bit tougher i ended up breaking my fast a little bit earlier than what i wanted to so my fasting window is from 10 p.m till 2 p.m the next day giving me an entire 16 hours and then i will start eating at about 2 30 3 o'clock now i don't eat exactly at 2 because i do break my fast with the keto lemonade and then once i drink that i'll wait about 30 minutes or so then i'll go ahead and consume actual solid food so eating probably about 2 30 3 o'clock but anyways um so wednesday i ended up breaking my fast a little bit earlier than what i anticipated again breaking my fast at 2 was my goal but i ended up breaking my fast at about 12 30 because i just i was famished when i got home i felt like i just needed that coffee for some reason and let me tell you guys i broke my fast i fixed me a coffee and ate a little egg muffin and the coffee just it really wasn't all that grand like once i got it and i started drinking i was like oh it's just coffee anyway so that pushed me back about an hour on thursday again making sure i'm hitting those um my target time frame the 16 hours so on Thursday, it pushed me back an hour, which wasn't too bad. I got back on track, no issues there. So long story short, this was definitely, um, it was a little bit of a challenge, I would say. I think more so again, just because it was intentional and I knew I could not eat. Not that I couldn't eat, I could eat if I wanted to, but I knew that I wanted to not eat and go the entire time frame until two to break my fast. So with that, it was a little bit harder just because it was like I was being forced to do it. You know what I mean? Not that I was being forced, but it's like I was being forced. So anyways. All right. So getting into the weekend, I will be breaking my fasting protocol, meaning I won't fast at all. But I will do kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of a fat fast over the weekend. Basically just meaning that when I do go to eat, um, eat a full meal or snacks, I'm making sure that I'm eating high quality fat foods um, to kind of feed my body. I did not not eat fats throughout the week. I definitely did, but I didn't eat as much throughout the week either. And again, I did that intentionally just because I am trying to get my body to the point where it's eating off its own fat stores. However, with that, I wanna make sure that I am keeping a balanced diet. So come the weekend, again, Saturday and Sunday, 
I will have all things fat. Now, that doesn't mean I'm just going to sit and just consume cheeseburgers, bacon, and steak, and what have you. No, no, no. It will be healthy fats. It may just be that I um, have a really nice um, keto coffee with all the fats in it. Maybe once or twice, just depending on what my taste buds are asking for. Um, and it's just a nice, healthy, round-out meals. Now, I'm already to the point where I just don't eat a whole lot throughout the day. And I don't consume a huge portion of food either. So, eating smaller amounts for me works a lot better. Especially when I'm trying to make sure I'm getting enough fats in or enough protein or carbs or whatever into my diet, eating smaller portion meals. Um, it just seems to work better for me because eating a huge amount in one time, it's just, it, I feel like I'm being forced to do that and it's hard for me to do so because I get full so fast. So anyways, my plan is again to kind of fat fast over the weekend and then come Monday, I'll be jumping back into the 16, 18 intermittent fasting. And being that I fed my body all weekend, it gives me kind of a jump start, so to speak, and my body will have that dietary fat in me, if that makes sense. My body will have that dietary fat that um, it will be able to jump start into a fasting window. So that way, come Monday morning, I don't feel like I'm depriving myself and I'm starving because I'm so hungry, etc., etc. Again, I will leave a ton of resources in the description box for you. For anyone that's interested in this um, lifestyle, this way of eating, go out and research and figure out if this would work for you for your overall health goals and so on. But with that being said, um, yay for me again that I won the first 21 day boot camp challenge. I am so like just incredibly in awe about that within itself. But yeah, I won that. I'm very pleased with the um, the outer results that I have seen so far, but I'm very much pleased with the inner results that I feel. Y'all, I feel just alert and amazing. It doesn't mean that I don't have my moments where I'm just like, Ugh, you know, Ugh, just tired, but that's more so because I've been actually moving and grooving and working and, you know, working my brain. But for the most part, I just feel so good. And I feel good about myself knowing that I'm giving myself what I need. You know, I'm taking care of this body the Lord has given me. I'm nurturing my body the way it's meant to be. I just feel good. That's the best way I can describe it. I feel just so All right, so let me give good. you a quick update on the MCT Oreo now. Again, many people have stated that it can have a laxative effect. And I am here to tell you that is absolutely correct. The first two days, yeah, all that and stuff. Anyways, I only did a half a tablespoon for the entire week. Um, I did it either in my salads or in my protein smoothie or shake, whatever I was drinking. And with the shake, I mean, you can, you can, it's all, it's oil, so you can feel it. But it wasn't horrible, I guess I would say. It wasn't horrible like, ugh, I'm drinking just straight oil. It wasn't like that. But you can definitely feel it on your lips because, you know, you kind of feel like you got Crisco on your lips because it's all oily. But in my salad, it worked out fine because your salad is uh, oil-based anyway. So, anyways, the MCT oil, first two days, straight up in the bathroom. After that, I think I have been fine. I will say I don't, I don't, well, I can't say I didn't feel a significant difference because the two nights that I took it, with my shake before I went and worked out those particular nights, I, I pushed myself a little bit harder, but like, y'all, my body was heated. Like I can feel my body burning itself, if you will. And that's one of the benefits of MT, um, MCT oil is that it helps you to burn fat. I can feel my body burning, if that makes sense. Those two nights that I took it before working out, yes. Yeah. So I'm thinking that if I bump it up to the full tablespoon, I will even feel more and see more of the effects um, of taking the MCT oil as well. So starting next week, I will go ahead and start doing the full tablespoon and I'll definitely let you guys know if there's any um, difference in how I feel, any difference in bowel movements, in, uh, TMI there, um, or anything like that. I'll give you guys feedback on that as well next week. Now tomorrow, I will start off my day by stepping on the scale. You guys will see that in next week's vlog and we will see whether or not I lost any weight. I know I have lost inches. Not sure if I lost actual body weight, body fat or whatever, but we'll see that in next week's vlog. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope that you guys um, got something out of this. I'm trying to make sure that I share as much information as I can as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then also any benefits from it 
but also leaving you guys resources that way you can go and research these things for yourself and see if it's going to work for you and your goals and, and so on. So I do hope that this helps you guys out along your way, no matter what um, lifestyle you decide to take on for better all, better overall health and so on. I thank you so much for sitting through this entire video. I know it was quite long. Again, I will do my very best to trim down as much as I possibly can. But I did want to show you guys um, just life on a ketogenic diet and what I have going on, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, all that stuff there. So, And with that, including a few family uh, pics and vlogs and all, you know, clips and all that stuff in there too. So anyways. Moving on, let me stop rambling because this video is already long enough. As always, thank you so very much for watching, guys. Until next time, stay healthy.